Monolithic COBOL applications, innovation at speed. They seem to be at odds, don't they? I'm gonna show you how generative AI can accelerate financial services institutions to the path beyond application modernization to continual application enhancement. Look at these metrics according to Reuters. 43% of banking systems are built on COBOL. 80% of in-person transactions, 95% of ATM swipes, COBOL. 220 billion lines of COBOL code allow $3 trillion in commerce transactions to happen daily. Now, imagine trying to update all that monolithic application code, critical and core to banking or insurance operations. Painful, right? Yes, yes it is. Pushing a simple update is a lot of work to ensure nothing breaks downstream. If you can find a quality and skilled COBOL developer, even they would say it can be easy to get lost in a maze of up to 100,000 lines of code, that was built in the 60s, not standardized or well-documented. It's literally digital spelunking. And look at how the CEO of GitHub talks about the subject. If you go to the banks and financial institutions and talk to the CTO, they'll tell you that they're running COBOL code from the 60s, and those developers from the 60s are all retired now. And that code back then was not written with unit tests and with CICD. The reality, though, is if financial institutions want to lead, they need to begin addressing this technical debt. Business Line's ability to see industry opportunities for things like embedded finance and reimagined customer experience is now significantly outpacing the rate in which current applications can keep up. It's now beyond just the cost of managing legacy systems, it's what are the opportunities we're losing because we aren't able to innovate at speed. So we've got to address a few things. Number one, Make it easier to sift through and navigate these tightly coupled legacy applications. Translate code to make it understandable to a larger talent pool. Ensure any steps we take to accelerate this process does not break the mission critical applications. So I'm gonna show you how continual innovation is possible to these core banking insurance applications with today's skills environment. Pay attention to those things we must address. All right, so here's a scenario. Imagine a sample insurance or banking application could be upwards of 100,000 lines of code, we're focusing on a pivotal operation, customer onboarding, and making it easier to sign up for a new insurance policy without contacting a customer services agent. We'll follow a simple accelerated lifecycle process that aligns with standard DevOps approaches. First is understand the application landscape, identify what needs to be refactored for the business case we're working with, ensure we're working with modern language and architecture, validate it won't break anything, only deploy the best version, and then observe. Conceptually, we hit on everything we need to be addressing. Now I want you to look at how that could be executed in practice. So we start by visualizing the COBOL programs and data tables. The, the point here is to de-risk the project and make it more intuitive for everyone involved. So now in a single page, I can visually see how data flows through this application and I can quickly identify the dependencies and where my updates might break existing functions. Now, I don't have to approach this onboarding improvement with my fingers crossed that my code won't break disjointed functions from a login screen. I can see where I'm impacting the application. Now I can see easily how the key tables involved in customer onboarding, customer secure, and customer will impact the rest of the COBOL application no more spelunking. Now to work with the code. I can extract just the code needed as the tool will stitch all the code blocks for onboarding a new customer into a new COBOL business service. For example, you can expand this code block to see the insert into the database. Now that I've extracted the refactored code, I can leverage AI capabilities to convert it to Java. Look how this can simplify one of the key problems we mentioned earlier. Expanding the understanding to a large talent pool by quickly analyzing existing code and generating subsequent Java classes. Next, we simply put the COBOL prompt for customer onboarding paragraph and AI will translate it into Java and fill the full method implementation. The result is natural Java any Java developer can work with. And now I'm able to edit or augment within that generated Java code as I need. The last step is regression testing between my new code and the original code from the onboarding application. I'm able to auto-generate test cases covering all probable code paths to validate the equivalency, and then I'm ready to reinsert and update my original application. Now this was just a quick walkthrough of how application modernization can be made much easier with emerging technologies like generative AI. 
There is still a lot more to talk about in terms of transforming COBOL core applications into a modern architecture, containerization, fit for purpose, and so on. But especially with core applications, updates are complex and difficult, and it's much easier to get started when your teams and developers can understand what they're working with, which is why this demo demonstrates a great first step towards reimagining that legacy insurance or banking applications onboarding process for all your new customers to enjoy.